Now they got the policemen out here shooting folks up. Now he got everybody up there scrambling in L.A. He done told all of them, I know where you at and where your family at, and I'm going to kill your family. He done told them. He lost his job because of them because he told them, I think it was a white woman who wound up kicking a suspect with handcuffs. She got acquitted, and they fired him for telling on them. So he's just going through killing them. He said he ain't got nothing against the country. Now, that's when you know the nigga mind bad. <laughs> he don't went here and fought for him. You can't be that stupid. That uniform would have really messed you up. They gave you the wrong shot. He just got a problem with the police force. The police force is a part of the government. I don't know what he's thinking about. But anyway, he's sitting out here. Now he on the run. Now he got all of them dead in terror. You know what? Now they know how we feel. How you feel in L.A., you police? Now you feel black. <laughs> that's how we feel. You know what? Scared of policemen going to kill him. Man, how it feel to feel black? Shoot, nigga, I've been doing this all my life. I always been scared the police gonna shoot me. They run around there panicking. He done like, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill your family. I've been feeling like that all my life. How about y'all? I wanna know what's the problem. Somebody they get to run now, they gotta get they gotta scramble. They supposed to be guarding the people for the Grammy and all the night. They gotta go home and try to guard their family. Man, I've been feeling like that all my life. I mean, let me see how. I don't feel no different. How about y'all? I tell y'all now, listen, y'all be careful. The police gonna try to kill y'all and y'all family. Do y'all need to run out of here right quick and try to do anything different? Follow up. See what we've been doing. You know what we do? Been praying to God, asking God to deliver. That's what time for them to do. God going he come through and touch everybody. Yes, it's a trap to anybody get killed. We're not sitting here belittling people being shot down and being killed. But shoot, man, it happens to us every day. Ain't that right? And that's the sad part about the hand of a lot of these rotten officers. It ain't all of them, but it's just too many of them rotten. A lot of these white ones sit here and they feel like they get a gun in the bag, they're untouchable. They feel like they, they try to get their kids in the law enforcement. That way they can always get protected. They don't never worry about no ticket. And they feel like they're above the law. They turn around one of their own people victimized. And what's sad, he's been trained by the government. You know what they're told? He underground on them. They say they can't find they can't. He already know not to be like the other dummy. Don't use a cell phone. They can track you. He know not to go anywhere with any of your acquaintance. Everybody's stuff. See, when you fill out stuff with the government, what they good with it, they want you to write down people. Y'all don't get them when you write down jobs. They ask you for references. They ask you to write down three references, name, and address. When any time the FBI and them looking for you, they're going to look for everybody name you ever put on them reference. They're going to tap their phone. Sad part that they train him. Now he turn around, he biting them with their own food. They scrambling because they know. He already know the tactic. We going to everybody he done wrote down, everybody he said he used for a character with. And he already know. Don't go around them people. Don't call them people. Don't contact them people. Because they're going to have them people. They're going to try to tell them people, we're going to need to bring him in. If you help us so we don't have to kill him, that nigga ain't crazy. He know they're going to kill him. So he just ha he wreaking havoc. One man wreaking havoc across the whole nation. Let me see what they do to my blood pressure. Nothing. Man, y'all done let clans do this to us for years. What's the problem? What's the problem? Then Obama done ran him, fought. All these gun laws get changed for these little white kids in Connecticut and all these people. And he said he come from a state, got a higher murder rate than the military guy in Afghanistan. Nigga, please. Why he never said nothing about all these people being gunned down in Chicago? Y'all laughing. These people don't show you what they care about you. All we got is God. I said, just like God said, where your rock at? In whom you trusted. Let them let them go and catch that black man who terrorizes you. Man ain't crazy. It's just unfortunate. They're going to kill him before you can hear his side of the story. Thank the Lord. Ain't the Lord all right? They can call on soapbox. They can call me whatever they want to call me. Not one of them in no position to judge me. Not one of them got to clean enough light to judge me. They sat here and they made him. They trained him and they sat him out there. And now he turned around and he done backfired on them. Don't get hot with me. I'm not the one that hired him. I ain't the person that trained him and set him out. I'm not the person that let him down. He ain't trying to kill me, is he? Well, I'm good. He ain't said about trying to shoot up my family. He ain't talking about killing up the way of God church, is he? When what? Hold on. See how I feel. What's the problem? Think of, now they scrambling. Think about how we've been feeling for years when these people have come in and victimized us in our neighborhoods. How many people been gunned down by the hand of the L.A. police force? Been beat. Falsely in prison. They just shot a man not long ago in San Francisco, because a black man, because he ran out the bus. The nigga committed the ultimate crime in America. 
He did not pay his $2 for his fare. Listen, assault rifle shot him down on YouTube, on the ground. This fella just lift his head up and lay down and die. Because he didn't pay his bus fare and ran and got off the bus. This wasn't 20 years ago. This was last year. 2011, I think. On tape, everything. Nobody went to jail. So you know what I called it when he come back out? One day on, come back and get him. I said, justice. 